You just duck? I have. Uh-huh. I'll pay 25 cents ducking tax. What for? Where's your sea craft? There ain't no sea craft. It's me dinghy and it's under the wharf. Uh-huh. 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 The short gigs? There is. Yeah. In nearing town, right? Call us a town? Yeah. Well, first of all, there's 17 cents new in town tax. And there's 45 cents rowboat under the wharf tax and one dollar leaving your junk lying around the wharf tax. So all together, you owe the Commodore a dollar eighty-seven. Uh, who's this Commodore? Is that the nature of my question? There's a nickel question tax. Oh, forget it. I see what you're up to here. Here we go. Oh, exact change, please. I'm an exact change tax man. Along with the first buds of spring, Americans also greet, and perhaps with less enthusiasm, the annual income tax deadline on April 15th. Taxes in the United States, and probably the rest of the world, are a perennial source of complaint and conflict about who's paying too much, too little, or how they're spent. But taxation is a deep cultural construct whose history goes back almost 5,000 years. With the rise of civilization came the need to pay for it and taxes, called corvees in ancient Egypt, were employed. Corvees are a type of intermittent unpaid labor, which the pharaohs made famous use of to construct the Great Pyramids. In fact, one of the most famous archaeological artifacts ever found, the Rosetta Stone, is in part a tax exemption form for the Egyptian priesthood whom King Ptolemy V was very keen to make happy. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Of course, protest over taxation is also quite old. Lady Godiva, a 13th century English noblewoman whom legend has it rode naked through the streets of Coventry, did so in order to get her husband to lift the harsh taxes he'd imposed on its people. It worked. Perhaps the most famous tax revolt actually sparked the founding of a new country, the Boston Tea Party. In 1861, the federal government attempted to pay for the Civil War by enacting an income tax, but it was repealed in favor of a more lucrative tariff on goods in 1872. However, by 1913, the increasing burden of such taxation on the poor sparked the 16th Amendment, which made a true federal income tax constitutional. Citizens have been dreading April ever since. I don't think you understand. I'm from the Internal Revenue Service. That's a department of the... Fort Lewis College is blessed to have a deep bench when it comes to all things money and taxes. Chris Lyon and Kathy Elliott are both lecturers in the School of Business Administration. Joined by Linda Hayes, a senior majoring in accounting, the ladies agreed to discuss VITA, the Volunteer Income Tax Assistant Program for low-income taxpayers, which Fort Lewis regularly sends students to to volunteer with. All of which is in line with this month's topic, taxation. <laughs> VITA is, stands for the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. It's an IRS program that's been in existence since 1969. And the program was developed by the IRS in order for low-income working families to have an opportunity to meet their tax responsibility with free tax preparation. Over the years, it's become a huge program in the United States. Um, Many charitable organizations run VITA programs during the tax season. And we just ran one here at Fort Lewis College this past season with the help of the Piton Foundation out of Denver. We had 18 students who belong to Beta Alpha Psi, which is an honors and service organization here on campus. They donated 630 hours to the program. We had 10 students that donated over 40 hours, and we had one student in particular that donated 80 hours, and that's Linda. It was a good experience working with both Beta Alpha Psi and uh, the VITA organization because it helped me build more on my leadership, and I felt like I got a lot out of it from all the opportunities that it offered, and particularly with VITA, it was good to help people that couldn't like go and get their taxes done other place. It just made us want to do a better job in helping them. And being a part of this helped me realize that I do want to pursue tax as a career. I actually did my parents' taxes. So, <laughs> and I got them pretty decent refunds. So. 
Chris, can you tell us a little bit about Beta Alpha Psi? I'd be happy to. As Kathy mentioned, it is an honors and service organization. It's an international organization, primarily for accounting majors. And Fort Lewis is celebrating its 20th year of having a Beta Alpha Psi chapter. Part of the membership requirements include uh, a, a component of um, professional hours that the students have to do and then service hours. Uh, most of our students, most of our members are doing their service hours through the VITA program. And it's, it's, um, they're, they're lucky because in addition to actually doing VITA, before they can start preparing tax returns, they need to go through a training process, which Kathy does the, um, the training for VITA. And that counts as professional hours for them because they're, they're um, learning technical skills. Uh, after they finish their training, they have to take a certification test, and you can be certified at, at different levels, um, anywhere from a greeter to uh, a reviewer, which Linda was this year because she had participated in, um, in years past. So Beta Alpha Psi um, really, really um, provides students with some excellent professional development opportunities. And frankly, those opportunities lead to great employment uh, upon graduation, and, and in a lot of cases before graduation. Our accounting program here, we have really a 100% placement rate, zero unemployment for students that are looking for jobs. Um, if they don't have a job at graduation, they are employed within six months of graduation. And VITA has played such an important role in helping to build resumes, and it's such a, a great service learning experience. And it really instills a, a sense of giving back that I think these students will carry, um, carry with them throughout their careers. Fantastic, sounds like a great program. It is. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us.